but for anything that Nick has done. And he's not here, not because he's afraid of anything, but because we don't want to sensationalize this or put our son's picture out there any more than it already is. Okay, Nick's trying to focus on school, his grades, getting into college. That's what Nick's focused on. If my son said anything to hurt you, Katie, I apologize for him. He's hurt me so much. Okay. It, it's he, likewise, Katie. It, it, it's likewise. But you know what? I apologize. And this is the first time I've gotten an apology. Has Nick paid the price for this? How this has negatively affected my son? This happened in February, Giselle. For eight months, we didn't have to hear your name. We didn't have to even think about it. And then when it comes out on the news that a, a Westview student is fears for her life and is removed from school, I looked at my husband and I said, oh my gosh, please tell me that doesn't have anything to do with Katie. Our son came in the room and we questioned him. He said, mom, I have nothing to do with this. On Monday, I said, Nick, do you want me to go and talk to the principal? He goes, Mom, I don't have anything to do with it. Do you know what it feels like to get a phone call and have someone tell you, this is Detective Johnson. Your son has been arrested. He has been interviewed. Can you please come and pick him up at the police station? You know, Giselle, you've said that someone has to step up. You know what? I believe God has asked me to step up. This is not my platform. This is not what I do. But somebody has to stop you. For you, this ended in February. For your family, it ended. It did not end for my family. Do you know what happened at Pop Warner Cheer? Do you know how they went after my younger? That's really funny, isn't it? She was an innocent 10-year-old child. It's not funny. Thank you for the smile, because this is what I face. I face people laughing at me as my daughter lays in bed crying, as my 10-year-old daughter who didn't even know what was going on comes home in tears because they, she said someone's going to kill Katie. She didn't know. You people don't know what it is like to receive tweets and texts and Facebook messages, to have your picture slandered online to 80 million people, to get phone calls we that we have called. Like. <laughs> Detective Johnson asked you, do not take this to the media, and you chose to do it. And they're saying that now as he applies for colleges and people Google him, then his name comes up as a bully and that he's been arrested and all of those things, and so that his life has his been impacted by this as well. His name would have never been disclosed had he not chosen to step forward and disclose his name. I never once have disclosed a name. But he stepped up and admitted it, and that's the reason that his name is out there. He is the one person that has stepped up and totally said, I was agree. involved in this, and I admit that, and I was wrong. Ready to get real? Subscribe to the Dr. Phil Show YouTube channel for exclusive videos you won't see anywhere else.